see the AR drone in flight. It looks like merely the latest in a long line of remote-controlled flying toys. But this is no ordinary RC vehicle. When it goes on sale, maybe sometime later this year, the drone will be the first device to fuse robotics with augmented reality. The AR drone carries two cameras on board and can stream the video over Wi-Fi. Instead of a traditional remote, the craft is flown with just an iPhone. Touchscreen controls are overlaid over the live video, which gives pilots the option of flying from the first-person point of view. It's this video stream that makes the augmented reality possible. The drone uses its ground-facing camera to visually keep track of its location in space. When this data is combined with the video feed, the iPhone can create virtual objects, like a laser shooting robot. The enemy's location is dictated by a tag on the floor. We send the position to, to the iPhone and then all the graphics are made on the iPhone. This is the first robot attempted by the French company Parrot, which makes a wide variety of consumer electronics. They set out to create a game where a vehicle streamed video to a cell phone. We started to, to make a car, but uh, when we, we've done that, uh, we've seen that the, the camera looking the, on the car was looking for nothing. There's nothing to see on the ground. For flying, Parrot chose a quadricopter design. Four rotating blades allow it to hover, tilt, and spin. While quadricopters and quad rotors have become increasingly common in research labs, the AR drone might be the first product to make use of this design. Under manual human guidance, quadricopters would easily fly out of control. But by using data from an array of onboard sensors, automatic feedback control software can keep the drone hovering and stationary in midair. So even if there is wind, you just don't touch nothing and the, and the helicopter over and stay at the same place. With onboard software doing the hard work of keeping the craft stable, the drone is more responsive and easier to fly than a traditional helicopter. In fact, to fly forward or move side to side, pilots simply tilt the iPhone in the direction they want the drone to go. So here you can see uh, people just have never piloted anything and they, they're just taking the, the, the drone and they can have fun uh, instantly. Parrot engineers have only developed a control interface for the iPhone so far, but they've made available a software development kit, which means that interested programmers should be able to write control software for any smartphone with a Wi-Fi connection. We've made it over Wi-Fi so that you can pilot it with any device that has Wi-Fi. Like most new technologies, this first attempt at augmented reality robot gaming is not completely satisfying. At CES, most of the volunteers flying the device hardly ever look down at the video in their hands. They just watch the real robot fly in front of them. Conversely, the AR games that Parrot had to demo forced the user to look only at the screen, since the laser beams and robotic enemies weren't actually real. And if you're already just looking at a tiny screen, then why go to the trouble of flying a robot through the real world? Still, this may be the first glimpse at a future where augmented reality gaming is commonplace. And Parrot has provided a platform where software developers can experiment with what's possible. And although there's no word on price yet, the drone is undeniably fun and always draws a crowd. For IEEE Spectrum, I'm Josh Romero.